Gentlemen, are you ready to finally rank the iconic gobblegums from Black Ops 3? Hell yeah, Georgie, this should be a fun tier list. I agree, Obama. There's a lot to say about the gobblegum, so I'm curious to see everyone's opinions. I love these little balls. They really made the game easier and more fun for me. Joe, why the hell did you have to word it like that, you creepy fuck? Just ignore Dark Brandon over here. We have a lot of gobblegums to get to. This list has every classic and mega gobblegum. Hold on, George. I don't see the whimsical gobblegums on this list. Those things were pointless, Donnie. Let's be real. Did anyone really use them other than maybe one or two times when they came out? Barry's right. Even I knew those things weren't worth using. The same can be said for some of the regular gobble gums, Barry. Some of them are flat out horrible. Anyways, let's just get started. All right, let's start with the classic gobble gums. First up is always done swiftly. A pretty shit gobble gum, in my opinion. George, you don't even need to say, in my opinion. It's a fact. This gobble gum is damn worthless and never worth choosing. F tier. I know I saw this on one of Joe's gobble gum packs when we played together in the White House gaming room. Damn near made me angry. I don't even remember what this one does, Barry. Allow me to elucidate Sleepy. It makes you walk faster when aiming and you aim your gun and lower it more quickly. Such an underwhelming and pointless gum. Yeah, it is just a classic gobble gum, but man, this thing is so boring and barely even noticeable if you do use it. So we can all agree on F tier, right? That's fine with me. Pretty bad way to start the tier list, but that's where it belongs. Next up is Arms Grace. This gobble gum respawns you with your guns if you bleed out. I never bleed out, so this gum is worthless to me. F tier. Now hold on, Donald. Even if it isn't the best gobble gum for a classic, it is pretty decent and can be helpful. Yeah, if you were to bleed out, this could really save you a lot of time getting your weapons back and pack a punch in them again. It's still not worth choosing over the OP Mega gobble gums in most situations, but it does have its uses. I agree, Joe. I think C tier is an appropriate spot. You all must be noobs to put it that high. Fuck you, Donald. It's called looking at things objectively. You should try it sometime instead of living in your conspiracy theory fantasy land. Yeah, ignore this lumpy ass pumpkin and put this shit in C tier. As you would say, Joe, this is a load of malarkey. Hey, don't steal my catchphrase, man. You stole the election from me. It's only fair. Enough bickering. Let's take Donald's opinion into consideration and put it in D tier. Next up is coagulant. This gum gives you a longer bleed out time. Another worthless gum. I would also put this shit in F tier. This one's not really that useful if you have decent teammates or any of the other better gobble gums for getting easy revives, but it could have its uses in a niche situation. I think D tier is fair. Yeah, when I have teammates who I know have my back like you guys, I don't really see the point in this gobble gum. I agree with Barry, D tier. I'm fine with that. Let's just move on. Finally, we have a good gobble gum in plain sight. Did somebody say plain? Not that kind of plain, Georgie. But yeah, this gobble gum kicks ass. The very definition of a get out of jail free card. I run this gobble gum every single game. It saved me more times than the amount of drone strikes Barry did on innocent children. Low blow, slow Joe. Technically, Trump did more drone strikes than Barack, but who's counting? Back to the tier list, this gobble gum has zero drawbacks and is just objectively one of the most useful gobble gums to run. It has to go in S tier. Can't argue with any of that. S tier it is. Next up is stock option. This one takes your ammo from your stockpile instead of the magazine when you fire your weapon. This one's pretty mid, in my opinion. It can be cool to use it with a wonder weapon like the Apothecon Servant or Thunder Gun, but otherwise it's not really that beneficial. Yeah, these classic ones are all just mostly mediocre or shit. No reason to ever run them when Megas exist. I think if we're being generous, this could go in C tier, but no higher. C tier it is. Next up is Impatient. What a horrible gobble gum. Yeah, if you waste a gobble gum slot on this, you're a total noob. Bleeding out rarely happens if you're good. And this just saves you a little bit of time so you can respawn before the end of the round if you do bleed out. It's not worth wasting one of your precious gobble gum slots on, that's for sure. I kind of like it. Shut, Shut up, up Joe. Joe. F tier, fuck this gobble gum. Next up is Swordflay. Mid as fuck. 
It can be helpful for getting points early in the game, but that's about it. It becomes totally useless in the high round, so running this would be a moronic choice once you unlock some megas. Calm down, Donald. No need to get so worked up. But I agree, this thing falls off completely past a certain point, so it's a D tier at best for me. I have no issues with that, George. Even if you did, Joe, we wouldn't care. Drop it in D tier and let's move on. Anywhere but here. What a great gobble gum. Yeah, another get out of jail free gobble gum. Although in my opinion, not as effective as in plain sight. I don't know how many times I've used this thing and got sent only a few feet away from where I was. It's still godly, Obama. The zombies get knocked back when you teleport and generally you'll probably be sent somewhere safe. It's also useful just for getting around the map quickly if you get lucky. It can be very beneficial in speed runs too. I think it has to go in S tier. Joe, your dinosaur ass doesn't know anything about speed running. But I agree, this is easily an S tier gobble gum. I think it's more of an A tier, but whatever. I can live with it. Next up is Danger Closest, AKA Bootleg PhD Flopper. This gobble gum is horrible compared to the OG Flopper. It's just not really that good when it's a limited time gobble gum instead of a perk that lasts as long as you have it. I agree, George. Plus, I don't really find myself using explosives too often in Black Ops 3, so it's just not a gobble gum I would ever use. All of that being said, it still provides a decent effect to your character, and it lasts three full rounds. So it's not entirely useless. I think D-tier would be appropriate. That was pretty articulate coming from you, Joe. Proud of you. Thanks, Home Slice. You're welcome, Joe, and never call me that again. All right, stop sucking each other off. Let's move on to the next gobble gum. Next is Armamental Accomplishment. This one's pretty garbage, too. Didn't even know this one existed, TBH. Apparently, it makes you switch weapons faster and recover quicker when performing melee attacks and gives a slight reload speed boost. We don't need to say anything else. This is an F-tier gobble gum. I don't even think Sleepy Joe would be dumb enough to use this abomination of mankind. Abomination? More like abomination? Shut the hell up, Joe. You aren't funny. Why do I always have to tell you fools to stop squabbling? Let's move on to the next gobble gum. Next is firing on all cylinders. This allows you to shoot while sprinting. This is cool. I just hate how it's limited to a gobble gum. It should have been part of your base kit or a perk instead. I agree, Barack. It's satisfying to shoot while sprinting, but this only lasts three rounds. And it's not really the most beneficial thing in the world anyways. I think C tier is a good spot. I'm leaning more towards D tier, but whatever. I just want to get through these classic gobble gums. I'm with Trump. Drop it in C tier like you drop bombs on hospitals in the Middle East, Barry. Next up is Arsenal Accelerator. This is a pretty solid one. Yeah, this one's pretty straightforward. You charge your special weapon faster for 10 minutes. For a classic, it's pretty good. Agreed. Although it was better as an elixir in Black Ops 4. Still, I think it's a B-tier gobble gum. I don't really have much else to contribute here. This one's just a basic, but good gobble gum. B-tier is fine. Next is a weird one with some dice on it. What does this one do again? That's lucky crit, Sleepy Joe. This one makes alternate ammo types more likely to activate for one full round. Pretty mid. One round really isn't shit, and the effect isn't that amazing. Yeah, this one's decent, but nothing special. I think it could go in C-tier. Yeah, C tier is fine. Let's just move on. Next up is Now You See Me. This one makes all the zombies chase the player who uses it for 10 seconds, and you get two activations with it. This gobble gum is way too situational, in my opinion. It's utterly worthless and solo, and 10 seconds really isn't that long, anyways. Yeah, this one's pretty weak. You could use it to revive a teammate or something, but there are far better gobble gums for that, anyways. So this would be an unwise choice. Is everyone okay with D-tier? I'm cool with that, Barack. Yeah, that's fine with me. As Hank Hill would say, yep. As Hank Hill also says, Joe, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, come on, man. Finally, the last classic gobblegum, and arguably the best, alchemical antithesis. This thing is insane. It's pretty much infinite ammo for your wonder weapons when you're using this. Such a beautiful, amazing, fantastic gobble gum. Truly one of the best. You sound like you're about to make love to the damn gumball, Donnie. But I agree. It's so OP, they made it a mega elixir. 
in Black Ops 4. Do we even need to say anything else? It's undoubtedly an S tier. I don't think so, George. I'm slapping it in S tier. Finally, we can get on to the more interesting and useful mega gobble gums. First up for the megas is Aftertaste. This one's really strong. Yeah, this one lets you keep your perks when revived and last three full rounds. This must be your favorite with how often you go down sleepy. Fuck you, Donald, you orange, wrinkly-ass bitch. I bet your dick looks like a damn baby carrot. You'd like to know, wouldn't you, creepy? Come on, guys, we still have a lot of these to get through. Let's focus. Aftertaste for me is an A-tier gobblegum. It's strong, but not the best for keeping your perks. If it lasted forever until you took it down, like it did in Black Ops 4 before they nerfed it, I'd probably put it in S-tier. But as it is, A-tier I think is fair. A-tier is fine. Next up is Burned Out. This one is dog shit. Yeah, this one makes nearby zombies burst into flame when they hit you, but it only lasts for two hits. So it's usually gone extremely fast and doesn't really help you much. If this one only activated when you were on low health, like Winter's Whale in Black Ops 4, and had more uses, then maybe it could be decent. But unfortunately, this thing is a miserable excuse for a gobblegum. Still, guys, it could save you from death on rare occasions, so it's not completely worthless. I think it's a D-tier gobblegum. I suppose we can put it in D if nobody has any objections. I don't even want to think about this one anymore. Let's just move on. Next up is Dead of Nuclear Winter. This one just spawns a kaboom, and you get two activations. Joe, you did not just call the nuke power up a kaboom. That's what the announcer says when you grab it, so that's what it's called, Barry. Nobody has ever called it that other than you, Sleepy, and I mean nobody. Ignoring Joe's dumbassery, this is a pretty decent gobblegum, but nothing more. Nukes aren't the best power-up ever, but they can still help quite a bit. This is easily one of the best gobblegums ever. It has to go in S tier. It reminds me of all those bombs I was dropping while in office. Good times. I'm shocked, Obama. Usually you're the rational one, but what you're saying is Sleepy Joe levels of delusional. This is a C tier gobblegum. B tier if you're being generous. Chester Cheeto is right. I think it's a C tier myself, but I can take Obama's opinion into account and bump it to B. Can you guys stop calling me Obama? And I guess I can accept that, even though it's amazing. I'm cool with that. Next is Ephemeral Enhancement. This one pack-a-punches your currently held weapon for 60 seconds with two activations. This one's pretty weak. It can be kind of helpful early on, but once you've pack-a-punched your weapons, it's completely useless. Yeah, there's no reason to run it because of that. It just takes up a gobblegum slot once you're set up. I think D-tier is fine, though considering it can help you out in the early game. I agree, it's just another forgettable gobble gum to me. Next is I'm Feeling Lucky. This one allows you to spawn two random power-ups. This one can either be really helpful or totally useless, depending on your luck. But I think there are more helpful power-ups than not that you're likely to get, so I would also put it in B tier. My unlucky ass always gets two carpenters when I use this. I think it's an F tier. You know that isn't fair, Joe. It's at least a C tier. I think that's the most reasonable spot given its random nature. I agree with Trump. That's the only spot that makes sense to me. Let's just throw it there and move on. Next up is one of the best gobble gums ever. Immolation liquidation. Yeah, I pretty much always run this one to get the map's wonder weapon quickly. Spawning three fire sails is insane, but the fact you can spawn them all in at once and get a really long fire sail makes it really easy to get any desired weapons. Couldn't have said it any better myself, Barry. It's especially helpful on revelations for the Apothecon Servant, Thunder Gun, and Lil Arnie's. This gobble gum is easily an S tier. Agreed, fellas. Glad to see so much bipartisanship for a change. Next, we go from one of the best gobble gums to one of the most abhorrent and unholy things devised by man. Licensed contractor. All right, George, you quit being so dramatic. But let me be clear, this thing is awful. Easily an F tier. Wrong, fake news. This gobble gum is amazing. It reminds me of building my big, beautiful wall, and for that, it's an S tier. Were you dropped on your head as a kid, Donnie? That's the biggest load of hooey I've ever heard. Yeah, seriously, Carpenter doesn't even repair your shield in this game. It's pointless. Surely you're joking, Donald. I would never joke about this, George. This gobble gum is legendary. You all better show it the respect it deserves. It's going straight to F tier. 
Take your respect and shove it in your shitty toupee, Trump. Fuck you, losers and haters. You all can't grasp its true power. Here's another amazing gobble gum. Phoenix up. This one revives all teammates and they keep their perks. We all know what it does, Barry. We run this pretty much every co-op game we play. This has clutched more Easter egg runs for us than I can even remember. It has to go in S tier. Joe, I'd be surprised if you can even remember one of our Easter egg runs, but I'm not so sure about S tier. Before they added the even more OP gums like near-death experience or self-medication, then maybe. But I think it should go in A tier because of that. Hmm, you make a decent argument, Trump. I think I could accept A tier. That's fine by me. Next is Pop Shocks. This one only has one purpose, killing Margwes and Panzers. Yeah, that's really the only reason you would ever use this. Otherwise, it's so pitiful against the zombies and a waste of a gobble gum. I think it has to go in D tier since it really only has one practical use. Nobody's gonna argue with that, Barry. Let's just move on from this shit. Next is Respin Cycle. This one respins the box when you... Joe, wake the fuck up right now. Oh, Melvin, your kisses feel so nice on my body. What the hell are we listening to? Wake up, Joe. Huh, what? What's going on? You Nimrod, we're ranking gobblegums, remember? We're on respin cycle, which as you were saying before you passed out, will respin the box for you when you use it. This gobblegum sucks ass. It's pretty much just a free 950 points. If you run this, you're a noob. It's certainly no immolation liquidation, that's for sure. I think this is F tier. I legitimately don't think I've ever used this one. Yeah, 950 points is so easy to get. It's never worth trading a gobblegum slot that could be used on something far more helpful. Let's put this trash in F tier. Next is unquenchable. Now here's another solid gobblegum. Yeah, this one gives you an extra perk slot. Nothing more to it. It just lets you buy another perk, which is always helpful. I would personally put this one in B tier, considering you still have to buy the perk. And it's only one extra perk anyways. That's a good point, Barry. I think we can all agree to that. We're still not even halfway through these gobble gums, so let's just put it in B and move on. Next is Who's Keeping Score. This one gives you two free double points. This one can be insane when combined with other gobble gums like extra credit. Yeah, if you don't have shopping free, this gobble gum can be great for helping you progress through the map faster. I think it's an A tier myself. Well, Hussein, I happen to have hundreds of shopping frees from back when I spent millions of dollars on liquid divinium, so this one is utterly useless for me. I'd put it in C tier. How about we meet in the middle at B tier then? I think I can do that. Sure, George, B tier is acceptable. Next is cashback. This gives you a free max ammo. This is an amazing gobble gum. A max ammo can make all the difference between death and living to fight another round. Yeah, there's no power up more beneficial than a max ammo. This gobble gum is very helpful for Easter egg attempts and high round games in general. I think it's an A tier. You took the words right out of my mouth, George. This belongs in A tier. Let's put it in A then. Next is Killjoy. This one gives you two insta kill power ups. Another A tier in my opinion. You can kill so many zombies with an insta kill and you get two. This can make certain Easter egg steps a lot easier and it's just helpful in general when playing zombies. I agree, George. Insta-kill is definitely the most valuable power-up next to a max ammo, so I think it deserves A tier alongside it. As your former VP Barack, I am obliged to agree with you. All right, let's put it in A tier then. Next up is on the house. Another great gobble gum. It gives every player a free perk. It's straightforward, but very valuable. It's an objective upgrade over Unquenchable since you get a perk for free and it affects your entire team. This is another A tier for me. Yeah, it has to go in A tier. It's an amazing gobble gum, especially if you have multiple people running it. Good points, fellas. Let's put this one in A too. Next up is Wall Power. This one's pretty good, especially on the world at war maps that don't have Pack-A-Punch. Yeah, this one can be helpful to save points and be OP early in the game, but on maps with Pack-A-Punch, it's not really necessary and is just to save time. It also is limited to the generally weaker wall weapons, so that needs to be taken into consideration. I think it's a C tier gobble gum. I think we can put this one in C tier, George. Next is killing time. 
The only reason anyone gives a shit about this gobblegum is because of codename pizza. Yeah, this gobblegum was cool due to the strange ways it could affect the game, but it's not that great when used for its intended purpose. Insta-kills work far better than this, so I'm not sure why it's an ultra rare. I hate this one. It's like a D tier for me. Nobody ever runs this shit, let's be honest. Joe, what are your thoughts on killing time? Seriously, again? Wake the hell up, Sleepy Joe. Hold on, let me call his crusty old ass. Killing time, bro. It's killing time, bro. It's killing time, bro. I said it's killing time, bro. Huh? Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I'm awake now. Joe, why the hell is that cringe-ass song your ringtone? Fuck you guys. It reminds me of better times in the zombies community. Anyways, I think Killing Time is an A-tier gobblegum. I loved watching Myth Busting Mondays so much back in the day. I think it's a B-tier myself. How about we all compromise at C? I'm cool with that. This next one shouldn't take long at all. Perkaholic. Easiest S-tier ever. There's almost nothing better than this. Getting every perk as soon as the game starts just makes everything much easier and also allows you to get set up far faster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've used this gobble gum in almost all my matches of BO3. You can't argue that this isn't one of the best and most OP gobble gums. Yeah, let's just put it where it belongs and keep going. Next up, we have Crawl Space. This one is lame as hell. I can think of exactly one situation where this gobble gum would ever be useful. And that's when you need to get crawlers for the Voibo. Otherwise, why the hell would you ever want to turn a bunch of zombies into crawlers? Yeah, this one just confuses me. Other than the void bow step, this thing is abysmal. I would put it in D tier just for that one use, but no higher. I'd put it in F tier myself. It's not like the void bow step is particularly challenging anyways. I think I'm on Donald's side here. This thing is just stupid. Let's put it in F tier. Next is Fatal Contraption. This gives you two death machine power-ups. Death machines are really strong in Black Ops 3. They might as well be insta-kills, so surely this belongs in A tier as well. Yeah, can't really argue with that, Barry. If you die with a death machine, you're a noob. Nothing more to say here, just put it in A. Next up is Undead Man Walking. This one's really useful for Easter eggs. Yeah, the escort steps on Gorod Crovey would be a pain without this gobblegum. Same for that damn flag step on Shadows of Evil. Thinking about that one is giving me PTSD flashbacks. It lasts four whole minutes, too, which is quite a lot especially if you had multiple people running this. I think it's deserving of B-tier myself. It's very useful in Easter eggs, but that's about the only reason you would use it. And even then, it's not necessary when you're as good as the presidential zomboys are. We are pretty damn good at zombies. I think B is a reasonable spot. No complaints here, let's place it at B. Next up is, ugh, head drama. This gobblegum sucks more than Joe's response to the East Palestine train derailment. Get over it, Trump, you tubby fuck. I wasn't about to go to that place and get exposed to all that shit. Stop arguing like an old married couple. Head drama makes all your shots to the body do headshot damage. Oh, I love this one. I can never land those damn headshots, so this one really helps me out. Joe, you always manage to find a way to say something to make me hate you even more. This gobble gum sucks ass if you always aim for the head anyways. This is easily an F tier. I say it's an A tier, you big bloated bitch. Joe, none of us are on your side on this. This thing sucks. Let's just compromise a D tier. Fine. Oh no, next is unbearable. Unbearable is right. This is one of the most worthless gobble gums of all time. Yeah, this one basically causes the box not to move when you get a teddy bear and keeps it there for a few more spins. Why would you ever use this? It's not even that bad to just go to where the box moved, and considering I always run immolation liquidation anyways, seeing a teddy bear is more rare for me than Trump telling his children he loves them. I tell Ivanka how much I love her all the time for your information, Joe. But anyways, this shit has to go in F tier. I will leave this call if it isn't. Don't worry, Donnie. Nobody here is stupid enough to argue that this isn't an F tier gobblegum. Even Joe's dementia isn't powerful enough to block the hatred he shares for this gobblegum. Next up is Fear and Headlights. It's just a weaker version of Undead Man Walking. It just freezes any zombies you're looking at and only lasts two minutes. It's definitely not as good as 
undead man walking, but it's still a decent alternative if you don't have any. It can make certain Easter egg steps easier, but considering it does nothing about zombies you aren't looking at, it's not a guarantee for an easy time. I think it would be fair then if we put it a tier below undead man walking at sea. That makes sense to me. Let's do it. Next is temporal gift. Another simple one with a pretty good effect. It makes all power-ups last longer. It was way better as a classic elixir in Black Ops 4, but it's still good here. I don't really use this one ever, but I can acknowledge its benefits. I think it's just average considering it's not a classic gobble gum in this game. C tier is where it should go. Yeah, it's not as valuable as a mega gobble gum when there are so many other great ones to choose from. Let's put it in C then. Next is Secret Shopper. What a missed opportunity this was. Yeah, this allows you to buy ammo for any weapon from any wall buy. The only catch is it doesn't work for wonder weapons, making it damn near worthless. Yeah, they really dropped the ball on this one. They fixed it in Black Ops 4, but in this game, it's just a waste. It's an ultra rare gobble gum too, which makes zero sense. It's one of the worst ones. I think it belongs in F tier. If only you were always this smart, Joe. This gobble gum deserves to be cast into the depths of hell. All right, it's just a gumball from a video game, Donnie, but let's put it in F. Next up is disorderly combat. This one gives you a random weapon every 10 seconds and it lasts for five whole minutes. This gobble gum only has one purpose, and that's to get a fuck ton of points in no man's land before you head to the moon. That's true, Donnie. It's extremely overpowered on moon, but just an average gobble gum otherwise. How are we feeling about C tier for this one, fellas? I think that's a perfectly reasonable placement. Yeah, let's put it in C. Next up is Slaughter Shit. I mean, Slaughter Slide. Slaughter Shit is right. This thing has no business being a gobble gum. It should have been a perk. It can't hold a candle to the wonderful banana colada. They should have combined this gobble gum with Danger Closest and created a PhD slider perk. It would have been way better considering the lack of new perks in BO3. Still, it is fun to use. It's just not ever worth picking like a lot of these gobble gums. I think this one should go in D tier. D tier is fine by me. Next up is Crate Power. This one's pretty great, especially on maps with their wonder weapons in the box. And it's pretty much necessary on the World at War maps if you want pack-a-punched wonder weapons at all. Yeah, it's a clear upgrade over wall power. I think it should go a tier above it at B. Yeah, that makes sense. No need to keep dwelling on this one. Shopping free. Easily an S tier. Probably my favorite gobble gum. Yeah, this one just destroys the entire progression of a match. It only gives you a minute to buy as much as you can for free, but you can pretty much open the entire map in that time. This one stays permanently in my gobblegum pack. It just lets you skip the tedious setup and get to the high rounds faster. There's nothing negative or snarky to say about this one. It's just God tier. Put it in ass and let's move on. We go from a truly amazing gobblegum to a horrid display of Treyarch's hubris, mind blown. The only mind blowing thing here is how they thought this shit was a good idea. This one causes any zombies you're looking at's heads to explode. It's cool in theory, but you really can't kill that many zombies with it. And there are just much better gobble gums to help you get kills. I think it's a D tier. It still could be helpful if you for some reason decided to use it, but there's never a reason to do so. It's an F tier gobble gum, Joe, you know it to be true. Yeah, I've never even seen a single person use this piece of shit. It has to go in F tier. All right, you guys win. Next is Bullet Boost. This one just repacks your current weapon and you get two activations. Pretty mid 2,500 points isn't hard to come by to repack your weapon. And you usually don't ever need to repack it once you've got your preferred alternate ammo type anyways. Yeah, these gobble gums that become completely useless after a certain point in the match are just never worth running. This one's probably a D tier if we're being fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. It's for impatient people who don't want to Save up 2,500 points. No reason to use this, really. D tier it goes. Next is near death experience. Probably the most broken gobble gum ever. Yeah, on solo, this one will give you unlimited revives for three rounds and you keep all your perks. And for co-op, standing near players will revive them with all their perks. This gobble gum completely trivializes boss fights since rounds don't progress during them. And if you saved up a lot of these, you could theoretically get to any round you want since you'd have unlimited revives. It has to go in S tier, fellas. It's so overpowered. Next is profit sharing. 
Fuck this gobble gum. It reminds me of that commie bastard Bernie Sanders. Calm down, Donald. The gobble gum itself is really fucking good, especially when combined with power-ups like double points and extra credit. You can get tens of thousands of points for all players within seconds. George is right. And if there's one thing you love, Donald, it's making money. This is probably an A-tier gobble gum. Yeah, this one's really great for getting everyone set up with perks and pack-a-punched weapons. A-tier is a good spot for this one. All right, you guys have convinced me. My love for money has shown me the truth of this gobble gum. Glad to hear it, Mr. Krabs. Let's put it in A and move on. Okay, this might be the real most broken gobble gum. Round robin. I can't believe they actually added this shit to the game. It just ends the round. It completely destroys the entire purpose of the game mode. Yeah, I've seen people just spam these to get to round 100. That's a Joe tactic right there. Come on, Jack. It was just that one time on Kino. Regardless, it's a clearly broken and overpowered gobble gum. Ignoring our personal feelings of how it ruins the game, it has to go in S tier. If you say so, Barry, let's just move on. We're getting closer to the end of this tier list. Next is self-medication. This one's pretty incredible. Yeah, whenever you go down, you're given a ray gun, and getting a kill will revive you with all your perks, and it lasts for three uses. It's like having an entire extra set of quick revives, but even better. That's true, George, but eventually the ray gun will stop killing, so the gobble gun becomes all but worthless in the high rounds. It's still really overpowered and invaluable in Easter egg attempts. It's got to go at least A. Barry's right. I use this one all the time. It's not S tier worthy, but A is the perfect spot. If it'll get us through this tier list quicker, I'll agree to A. Oh, dear God. I'm actually going to be sick. Board games. This may actually be the worst gobble gum of all time. Even far worse than Licensed Contractor. I don't even know what this one does. Can someone explain? You don't even want to know, Joe. Basically, if you repair one board at a barrier, it fixes all the boards at that barrier. The worst part is, you don't even get the damn points for all of them being fixed. Only 10 measly points. That does sound pretty awful. How could any human being think that's good enough to be put in the game? Oh, sweet, naive, sleepy, just you wait, it gets worse. Let's put this trash in F and move on to the next gobble gum. This one, Joe, is called Bored to Death, and it's just as infuriating as the last one we did. This one kills zombies near you when repairing a barricade. I don't think we really need to mention how fucking pointless that is. Yeah, this and board games are the dynamic duo of shitty gobble gums. It belongs in F tier with it. I've heard enough to know this is dog shit. Put it in F. Next is Flavor Hexed. This one just gives you two random mega gobble gums not in your current pack. This one can either be really overpowered or agonizingly bad. I've personally never had luck with this gobble gum, so I don't take the chance by running it. I think it would fit nicely in C tier, given the hit or miss nature of it. Yeah, that's reasonable. Drop it in C Barack. Next up is Idolize. This one makes all zombies ignore you for 30 seconds and you get three activations. It's just an upgraded version of In Plain Sight. I'd say we have to put it in S tier also by that logic. However, it being a limited mega gobblegum takes it down a bit for me. Yeah, the main reason people use In Plain Sight is due to the fact you have unlimited uses. So this one's not as appealing to me. All that being said, it's still really great and deserves at least A tier. Yep, A tier is the best placement. Next up is extra credit. This one gives you five bonus points power-ups, which are worth $12.50 apiece. This thing is awesome when you combine it with double points and profit sharing. Each player can instantly get 10,000 points. Yeah, that's cool and all, but like I said earlier, I have so many shopping frees, I never have to resort to using gobble gums like this. I think it should go no higher than C tier. You're so out of touch, Donnie. This is easily an A-tier gobblegum. Joe's right, Donald, but if it'll make you happy, we can settle for B-tier. Next up is Soda Fountain. This one's almost as good as Perkaholic. It removes the perk limit and will give you a free random perk when you purchase a perk. It's one of the best gobblegums, but only if you don't have any Perkaholics, which I am swimming in. Yeah, it's just objectively a slightly inferior version of it, so I think it'd make the most sense to put it in A-tier just below it. Makes sense to me. Next is one of the most insane and busted gobblegums ever, Power Vacuum. Yeah, this one makes power-ups spawn at such a high rate for four rounds that it's pretty much impossible to die while it's active. 
Yeah, this one's pretty fun to use just because of how insane it is to see so many power-up drops. It's also really useful for getting to high rounds if you have a lot of these saved. I think it's another S tier. Nobody here will disagree with you there. It's an easy S tier. All right, we're finally on the last gobblegum, gentlemen, and ending with an awesome one, raindrops. Yeah, this one spawns one of every single power-up, and you get two uses. What's not to love about it? Yeah, it's pretty great, guys, but at the end of the day, they are just power-ups that are temporary, except for the free perk drop. I think I'd put this in A myself. That is a fair point, Donnie. For the sake of finishing this tier list, I think we should put it in A as well. Let's finish this then, boys. Drop it in A tier. Well, that took a while, but we finally did it, guys. This tier list isn't too bad if I say so myself. Yeah, that was fun, guys. What should we do now? I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm so tired. Bastard didn't even say goodbye. Anyways, I was gonna go golfing, Donald. Wanna join me? Sure, Barack, but we have to play at one of my courses. Whatever. I'll pick you up in like 30 minutes. What about you, Georgie? Sorry, guys, no can do. Jeb was begging me to help him with the Der Eisendrake Easter egg, so I gotta go do that, unfortunately. Your brother sucks so much, George. Anyways, have fun with that. I'm gonna go get ready to kick Obunga's ass in golf. See ya. See ya, George. Good luck with your match. I'll talk to you later, buddy. Fuck. Why couldn't I have been an only child? President Biden here. Thank you for sitting through this video. I hope you enjoyed it. The Attack of the Radioactive Thing video is currently in development and should be the next video out, so I hope you're all looking forward to that. I would like to quickly thank you all for 30,000 subscribers. This is a milestone I never imagined I'd hit on YouTube just a few months ago, so I appreciate all of you for supporting the channel. Now to quickly thank each of my wonderful patrons. Nick, Chin Diesel 98 Josh 2K, Jordan Rivas, Kawakami, Cyrus Logan, L. Jim Plum, Aspiring Aries, Circus Hack, Adam, Shaggy Rogers, Fernando Rivera, Ozzy, Fishy McBites, Cards Fan STL, Bean Gobbler 2332, Lucas Federico, XWB Gaming, Jailbreak, Lemon Tart 01, and Luigi369. With that said, thank you again for watching the video. Stay tuned for more presidential zomboys and God bless.